I got a phone call from the Abraham Lincoln Library Foundation. And they asked me, would I mind composing 272 words of my own, reflecting on Abraham Lincoln's Gettysburg Address? I'm going to read you what I wrote. One and a half centuries ago, civil war divided these United States of America. Yet in its wake, we would anneal as one nation indivisible. During the bloody year of his Gettysburg Address, President Lincoln chartered the National Academy of Sciences, comprised of 50 distinguished American researchers whose task was then, as now, to advise Congress and the executive branch of all the ways the frontier of science may contribute to the health, wealth, and security of its residents. As a young nation, just four score and seven years old, we had plucked the engineering fruits of the Industrial Revolution that had shaped Europe. But Americans had yet to embrace the meaning of science to society. Now, with more than 2,000 members, the National Academy encompasses dozens of fields undreamt of at the time of Lincoln's charter. Quantum physics, discovered in the 1920s, now drives nearly one-third of the world's wealth, forming the basis for our computer revolution in the creation, storage, and retrieval of information. And as we continue to warm our planet, climatology may be our only hope to save us from ourselves. During the centennial of its charter, President Kennedy addressed the Academy membership, noting, for the range and depth of scientific achievement represented in this room constitutes the seedbed of our nation's future. In this, the 21st century, innovations in science and technology form the primary engines of economic growth. While most remember Honest Abe for war and peace and slavery and freedom, the time has come to remember him for setting our nation on a course of scientifically enlightened governance, without which we may all perish from this earth.